Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Hagaduck3, and welcome to Tech Saturday, episode 14, where today we're going to be building a $800 Steam machine. But before we start with the build, the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is some Half Life 2 PC gameplay. So, yeah, I hope you guys and gals enjoy the gameplay. And now, without further ado, let's get started with the build. So, for the CPU, I went with the AMD FX6300. This is a 6 core processor clocked at 3.5 GHz. It uses the AM3 Plus socket. There is no hyper threading on this CPU because that is an Intel only thing, and it has a TDP of 95 watts. So, I chose this CPU for one reason, and that is this CPU is all you really need for a gaming machine. Now, yes, this CPU is not as powerful as, for example, uh, i7. But one thing AMD CPUs do better than Intel CPUs is multitasking. Because having those extra cores will help out a lot when multitasking. And for $109.99, this CPU is really hard to pass up. Alright, next up the motherboard. So for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte GA990FXAUD3. This is a ATX motherboard. It obviously uses the AM3 Plus socket. It uses the AMD 990FX chipset. It has four 240 pin DIMM slots. It uses DDR3 memory, which gets maxed out at 32 gigabytes and has speeds ranging from 1066 megahertz all the way up to 2000 megahertz. This motherboard does have RAID support. It does have both Crossfire and SLI support. It also has six SATA 6 gigabyte ports. And yes, it does have a USB 3.0 header. So some people might say I went a little overboard on the motherboard for this build, but the reason why I went with this motherboard is because it has a lot of upgradeability to it. So down the road, if you ever wanted to have 32 gigabytes of RAM in your system, you could do that. If you ever wanted to have two GPUs in your system, you can do that with this motherboard. Or if you ever wanted to change the CPU to either the 8320 or the 8350, you can do that with this motherboard. And for $134.99, this motherboard will get the job done for you. Now for the RAM, I decided to go with the Crucial Ballistics board. This is an 8 gigabyte stick of RAM clocked at 1600 megahertz, and this stick of RAM only uses 1.5 volts of electricity. So why did I go with this RAM again? Simple. It's reliable. And 8 gigabytes of RAM is all you really need for a steam machine, and for $66.99, this stick of RAM should last you a long time. Now I didn't add this component in my last build because, well, it wasn't in the budget. So this build, I decided to add an SSD. So for the SSD, I went with a 120 gigabyte Kingston SSD now V300. So I went with this SSD because I like Kingston, I trust them, and their SSDs are really cheap. So for $69.99, this SSD is really hard to pass up when you're doing a build like this. Next up, the hard drive. So for the hard drive, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Blue. This is a one terabyte hard drive. It spins at 7200 RPM and it has a 3.5 inch form factor. So this is the same hard drive I used in my last build and a lot of my previous builds. But the reason why I keep picking this hard drive is because it's just that good. It's really reliable. It's made in the good old US of A. And for $59.67, this hard drive is really, really really hard to pass up and now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is time to reveal the gpu for this build so for the gpu i went with the power color radian r9 270x this gpu uses two gigabytes of g ddr5 memory it is clocked at 1.06 gigahertz it does support crossfire and it has one dvii d dual link port one dvii dual link port one display port and one hdmi port so why did I go with this GPU? Well, I chose this GPU because I feel this GPU is the GPU for budget builds. With this GPU, it does support Mantle, so whenever developers add Mantle support to their games, then we should be seeing a performance increase in those games. But for right now, you should be able to play a lot of games now and games in the future around high to ultra settings. And if you want, you can add another 270X and crossfire these cards to get even better performance. But for $219.99, this GPU should get the job done. Next up, the power supply. So for the power supply, I went with the Corsair Builder 750W. 
So this is a 750 watt power supply. It is a non-modular power supply and it is 80 plus bronze certified. So I chose this power supply for a couple of reasons. So the first reason is because Corsair is really reliable with their power supplies. And the second reason is 750 watts is all you need for this build. And if you ever upgrade the GPU or the CPU in this build, then this power supply should be able to power your new components just fine. And for $79.99, this power supply should get the job done. And finally, for the case, I went with the Bit Phoenix Ghost. And no, this case has nothing to do with Call of Duty Ghost. So, this is a ATX mid tower case. The color of the case is black. If you're wondering if it was white or black, it's black. It has one external 3.5 inch bay, three external 5.25 inch bays, three internal 2.5 inch bays, and four internal 3.5 inch bays. It also has front panel USB 3.0 ports. And the dimensions are 20.08 inches in length, 8.27 inches in width, and 20.55 inches in depth. So why do I go with this case? Well, it's got a nice clean design to it. Cable management should be no problem with this case. And I really like BitPhoenix cases, and so do a lot of people. And for $69.99, this case should not disappoint. And that is it. That is the build. So the estimated watch that this machine will be using is 379 watts. So that 750 watt power supply should last you a while. And the total cost of this machine is $811.60. So I did go over the budget again. But remember that the price of these components are always changing. So be on the lookout for a good deal and make sure you get the best deal possible. And a link to this build will be in the description below. And if you haven't seen my previous video, click the box to the left that will take you to my previous video. Or click the link in the description to go to my previous video. And today's Bible verse of the video comes from 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. My dear children, I write this to you, so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. And that is it, and I will see you guys and gals on Wednesday for Ghost Mosh Pit Live. This is your boy, Hagadak3, and I'm out. God bless.